Do you think leaders are more aware of these problems or are you still struggling to like convince them as if you like, look, this is happening. Don't be um, naive. This is happening all the time. You're a hundred percent right. I, I prefer to say, don't be a dumbass, but yes, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, there's, it, I say that because it literally bothers me that we're in 2022 and uh, we're still having conversations uh, on this. Um, yes, it, it, the trying to convince people that advanced threats are different than regular threats and you have to treat them differently and you have to prepare and fund and staff for that. Um, th there's people who don't believe that they need to and that, you know, regular security products and things like that is all that they need. And having, you know, a couple of analysts to deal with everything is the way to go. And you have to have somebody who specializes at least one person. I like to have a team of three, but at least one person who specializes in, um, in, in dealing with these advanced threats and, you know, uh, having the argument that that's needed or not needed baffles me. And I, and I say, don't be a dumbass because because pick whatever day you want. Go look at the news because there's something new every single day of where companies are being decimated, people losing their jobs, customers losing their data, the reputation of the company's shot. And you're arguing with me about this? Get out of here. Like you shouldn't be in the position that you're in. And there is more people that you think than you believe that are. A friend of mine, Chris Co Cochran, he was uh, he put a poll up on about threat intelligence and you know, it, it still surprised me. Like, I, I would say, I don't remember the specific numbers, but there was still like, it was like 20% of people that still didn't think that it was uh, a necessity. Um, and then there were other people that talked about how, you know, attribution wasn't, uh, there were, they didn't find value in attribution. They didn't know, need to know who did it. They just needed to stop them. And I'm like, these are the people that don't get it still. And it's hard for me to believe that you're in cybersecurity and you still don't get it um, because this isn't news. It's just geek, geeks are reading. I mean, this is headline news when this stuff happens. I mean, I have the New York Times framed on my my wall here because it was the front page when Colonial Pipeline ha happened. Yeah. And I had been working on that and, and I got interviewed for that. But but my, that's not the point of my story. The <laughs> point of my story is that that was on the front page of, of, of every paper across the country. And like, how do you not get it?